we are testing the Osmo Action 3 and uh, right now we are on rock steady mode with ultra wide FOV and right now the action camera is in the Olanzi uh, tripod the MT16 we can also adjust it and make it longer like this one if you wanted to so everything is quite good as you can see the sky it's really blue because of this sensor here that adjusts so this is the wide and I think this is the best option for the for vlogging because it's not that wide and, and still you retain a very this wide to the view but not distorted as the ultra wide okay. So we are now uh, indoors, uh, ultra wide lens, ultra wide angle. We are trying to see how it looks like on a not favorable condition. There are a lot of people here. <laughs> Standard D warp. Just walking. Some people might find this better because it's not that distorted. But I still prefer the wide lens. So we are outside. Uh, this is the wide lens. Still on rock steady. This is my, what I prefer. Best of both worlds. <laughs> Not that wide, but still stabilized. But not too cropped in. Because that is one of the problems with uh, Osmo Action 1. The rock steady crops in too much that it, everything it looks like this. But with this one, it's wide enough to see the background. There's a lot of cars here. So this is ultra wide. You can see a lot of things here. It's wide. Really wide. Uh, still on rock steady. We haven't changed a thing. Uh, just walk around the block. So this one, this is horizon balancing. And we are on ultra wide lens. Ah, no, we cannot change it when we use both horizon steady and horizon balancing. You cannot change your field of view. The Osmo Action 3 crops in so that it can compensate for the horizon lock. With horizon balancing, you only have 45 degree of lock with the rise and steady you can do 360 so i'm trying to turn it around there you go it becomes vertical the moment you reach 90 degrees okay but as you can see everything is stabilized and locked in 
Now this is horizon steady so 360 degrees of horizon lock so as I try to turn the camera upside down <laughs> my face is still the same uh, let's try it here so you can see it clearly because there's a mirror on my back I'm trying to turn the camera on so everything is locked and said I hope you don't see that <laughs> but it's too cropped in so now this is the wide uh, the ultra wide without stabilization it's really really wide and there are no crop in but the problem is you will feel the jitters while walking around and I try to make it as stable as possible by holding the camera from the um, tripod but yeah it's really really not stabilized People are looking around because today is a uh, weekend. There are a lot of people here, so they are all looking at me while I do a vlogging test of the Osmo Action 3. So, this is Rock Steady again. We're going inside. I'm trying to find somewhere to eat. <laughs> I haven't taken my lunch. Point it anywhere because there are a lot of people here. They don't want to be included in the video. So I tried to point it down. So you can include them in this video. Okay, so this is. Team light again. They're inside. Uh, I haven't tested the audio, so this is all in onboard mic. So I haven't uh, enabled the wind noise, so everything is default. No adjustment at all. So far, it's easy to use the Osmo Action 3. Uh, I have adjusted some settings so that it would work similarly with uh, the Osmo Action 1. Actually, if you, you put them side by side, two things are different. The field of view and the video quality. This really is a good lens, considering that it is just an action cam. Of course, if you, can, if you will try to uh, compare it with the Osmo Pocket 2, the Osmo Pocket has a better lens because it has a one-inch sensor. But this one, I think it is enough to make vlogs similar to this one where it's really really small and compact but you have far the reach on your videos because if I try to compare it with the some mirrorless camera with an 11 millimeter lens just to match this ultra wide field of view of the Osmo Action 3. And all of this is in very, very compact setup. I'll show you. I'll try to remove the. So, this is the Olanzi MT16 with, uh, with that uh, quick release mount. And I'm handhelding the Osmo Action 3. So we will put the quick release just like that. And everything is good to go. Again, I can increase the reach or I can handheld style. <laughs> I can do a lot of things. Just this very, very small setup.
Where should I eat? I haven't taken my lunch because of. Uh, I actually, I'm, I'm trying to find a place to eat. <laughs> I'm running. Okay, another horizon balancing. Let's see if it struggles on the line. Hello everyone, we are testing the Osmo Action 3. This is ultra wide with Rocksteady 1 and we will now test it. Okay, right now I'm using a chest mount. This is a magnetic chest mount of Ulanzi. Or in a we'll just space the action cam like that and we're good to go. So, it is held by the magnet now. Okay, so this is Horizon Balancing and it's not fully it doesn't have a full horizon lock but it is good enough to stabilize the shot and at the same time lock down your horizon there is a bit of cropping as good as the other stabilization option here uh, in the Osmo Action 3 which is the Horizon Steady now this is Horizon Steady uh, it is the same option that you had with Insta360 and the GoPro Hero 11 with the Media Mod with this option, everything is cropped in, but maintaining that horizon lock. Whenever, how, even if you flip your action cam, and this is the best stabilization option in the Osmo action. Hello everyone, so we have finally finished using the Osmo Action 3 and we uh, showed you the different uh, scenarios wherein you could probably use the Osmo Action 3. Uh, we tried also using different FOVs, different stabilization, so that you can distinguish if this camera is really right for you. So, uh, in my conclusion, 
um, the autofocus is really not that good especially if I am using this camera you, you would know that it is not as as crispy as the Osmo action videos but but it doesn't mean that the the video produced by the Osmo action 3 is not usable it's it's really usable but if you want a studio quality like this one the Osmo action 3 cannot do that uh, video especially now that we are trying to, uh, to know if all of the batches have an autofocus problem meanwhile with GoPro Hero 11 we have we're hearing news that everything is okay with their autofocus uh, so if you can uh, delay buying an Osmo Action 3 it would be good for you because I think the autofocus is not yet fixed now so if you could wait better for you but if you are willing to buy willing to test the unit I highly suggest that uh, just be prepared the unit can shoot good videos especially with good uh, with good lighting uh, bright sunlight hands down it's a good device the field of view is really wide and it is very usable for those talking vlog sessions and I was able to show a lot of things just by walking into that mall and it's small enough to, to fit on a small bag compared to bringing a large camera with a large lens just to compensate for a wide angle view and th that for me is a compelling reason to get the Osmo Action 3. As you can see this is the setup. Look at how small it is. You can just probably swap this Ulanzi MT16 with a smaller uh, with a smaller selfie stick so that you can just bring it anywhere this is the Osmo Action 3 I will not praise it just because I want you to buy it I am praising it because it can do good videos minus the autofocus problem and for me since I have been waiting for this for quite a long time I take the plunge <laughs> And I, and I have it right now instead of the Osmo Action 2 because for me the problem of the Osmo Action 2 is really not fixable because the, the heating problem it will eventually degrade the chips inside meanwhile this one the autofocus problem can probably fix by another lens cover if you're on the first batch or the succeeding batches well, might probably have a better lenses on them but so far I'm good with this as I have said I'm not telling you to buy this as of this moment but if you're willing to go for it this is a good buy so we will end the video here hope this video helped you in some ways to decide if you're willing to go and take the plunge for the Osmo Action 3 and hopefully I can see you in the next videos. We will probably do more and uh, we will test this on a different scenario. And as always, see you on the next one. Happy... As, I'm, as Gail have told. <laughs> Alika, come here. Come here. I'll, I'll show you. This is my coach. This is my coach. So, as always, please hit the like button and subscribe and see you on the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>